Podcast Rise. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our second first episode of Atmon. This is gonna. I'm not gonna count this as episode two of our Atmon mini series thingy because we're still talking about the first episode. And Jay still doesn't want to watch the the raw, so I'm joined by two special guests, Sam and Stevie from the Moncast. Hello, hello. And if you don't know who they are, they they do the Moncast, which is a podcast, and they talk about Pokemon and Digimon, and they compare them and say which episode was better, and they're watching each episode in tandem, and it's really really good. And so yeah, check that out if you haven't because it's good and I like it. So this will be like okay. another like chatty chat chat episode about Applemon. And uh, Jay is currently in the other room asleep because in uh, in Australia it is the morning and in the UK it is the night time because time zones, yo. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it'll be a pretty casual episode. It's just going to be us talking about like basically what we liked and if we didn't like anything and you know what we understood because I don't think any are any of us fluent in Japanese. Nope, nope, definitely not. So like, there were bits I understood because of my limited Japanese, but that was. Yeah, it's. I would. I would like to understand more, but I, I tried really hard, and I. I was proud with the outcome. Like I, I think I know more Japanese than I think. Hopefully, at least that what I, that's what I tell myself to help me sleep at night. <laughs> I think you certainly know a lot more than me and Stevie combined. Well, I'm, I'm. I'm studying at the moment. Like I'm. Like I'm not going to like. I'm not doing a course or anything. I'm just like trying to read Digimon Next with a dictionary. Mm. And so far, it's oh, good. that's how you learn. So cute because Ogamon's in it. I know. I love that. I love that manga. It's great. Mm, mm. But to read scans online because I can't find it anywhere. So yeah. Yeah, like I don't think it's out officially in English. It's. No, uh, it's not now. Yeah, it's only out, in, and I have the whole series, and I got it from Mandarake in Japan, and I spent so much money in all the Mandarake. That it's like, oh my gosh, please stop me. It's good though. Uh, okay, so um, characters. What characters did you like? Um, I only know the name of one of them. <laughs> Wait, oh no, two of them that? technically. That's Haruka, the main person. Haru, yeah. Or, or may or may not be the protagonist. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they said, "Are oh, you a protagonist?" So many times, but he decided he's, he is a protagonist. It's canon now. Um, and there was also Eugene. Well, he's got green hair. Yeah, he's got watching... green hair. He has to be the protagonist. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. After. No, after... it's not the hair. It's the goggles. Oh no! And it's also the jacket. He has such a protagonist jacket. It's a good mm. jacket, though. So after watching Atmon, I was like, I want to dye my hair green immediately, but I, I can't. But I wanted to. And I also kind of want to have slightly redder hair than I do for Eugene, because he's... I really like Eugene, and I'm really worried he's evil. I love him so much. Yeah, he's so that cool. Evil look at the end. <laughs> he's just such a... such So cool. And there's also the Edgelord, which I... I think his name's Ray, the guy who, like, we, we haven't really seen yet, but he's, like, wearing all black, and he's, like, got, like, looks like a bad character. He looks like an edgelord. Like an he's the one with um, Edgelord Hackmon, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looks interesting. I like, I'm really excited for um, Moosimon. Is it Moosimon? Is and that the blue that one's, one? The music one. Yep, yep. I really like the music one, and I like the, the, the person it goes with, so I'm excited to see them, but... I thought Eugene was called Eugene, as in Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, but it's I suppose Eugene. that'll be his dub name. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that that'd be a fair dub name because it's like it sounds quite similar. Mm. Mm. And we also have I, who we haven't really seen much of a character yet, but obviously it's it's uh, the the love interest for Haru. Mm. And I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure if I if I got this part correctly, but the message that came up that Haru had sent out when Messamon was sending out the uh, everyone's private photos and, and messages, I th- believe said she's cut her bangs too short, I think. Maybe. I know she wasn't happy with whatever she read, but yeah. I, I have no idea. And Eugene, because he's suave, was just like, it's okay, it looks fine. And she's like, oh, I think he might be evil. And at the end, he was like <laughs> staring at, like, at, at Haru. And I was like, what if you're evil? He's got little glowy red bits in his eyes as well. That means he's evil. Yeah. Pretty much. Or maybe he's misunderstood evil. Yeah. I hope, I'm I hope he's misunderstood evil. I think he's Ren from Free. I haven't watched Free before. I want to. I have also not watched it. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. Mm. The main character is also called Haru. Oh, right. I was expecting swimming to come up, but it hasn't yet. <laughs> well, he's like a sporty character. Usually when Digimon do the sporty character, they're like all-round sporty, aren't they? Like Taiki? No, not Taiki. Uh, yes, Taiki. Yes, Taiki. Yes, Taiki. Also Mikey. 
Yeah, Mikey. Mikey and Ty. Tykey, Mikey, Ty. <laughs> Ty Mikey, Ty Kison. But, uh, yeah, cr- cr- I th- so this, like, sp- well, while we're, like, sort of, like, semi on the um, the idea of Cross Wars, uh, have you guys seen The Young Hunters, who leapt through time? Yes, a lot. So, like, I, r- I really like that. I- and no one likes them. I'm just like, oh, why? And I um, binged it in a weekend, and they were really, really good. I really enjoyed them. Yeah, I, I, en- I enjoyed I- them, too. And I prefer them over the first half of Cross Wars, because that's a bit meh. The second half's quite well. The second season almost is quite good and then young hunters is really good as well yeah i think it like cross wars gradually gets better mm. but the um i'm not sure what it's called but after he uses his apple drive it just reminds me of the digicourts in young hunters did anyone else yeah. get that impression it also reminds me of a lot of these things just remind me of um mega man anti warrior which is a series that i really enjoyed and they have things like in one season because they get new PETs, which are what the net navvies, which are what Mega Man and all of the little men are, um, they live in their PETs. But at one point, they get the ability to project tiny versions of them on their shoulder, mm-hmm. and Gatchmon flying around on the little chip reminds me of that, which is quite cool. And then in another season uh, called Star Force, they have this thing where they can tune into radio waves, and there's like an alternate world in these radio waves, and uh-huh. that's what this reminds me of a lot. I only of them played- like jumping. I only ever played the Battle Network game, and it was really mm. hard. And I didn't yeah, they're, they're good. It was really good. But is really that the really one? Hard. Is that the one where you can't control them, or is that one of the first ones where you can control? Um, no, it's like you're a, you're a kid, and then you have the PET thing, and you get different ships from different battles, and you have to enter a tournament. Um, well, there, there's there's one where you can't move uh, Mega Man around, and he moves automatically. And there's one where you can control Mega Man. They're both they're both good, and the games get quite good, but a bit weird. I don't think you can control him. Maybe I I think you can't. But like it was a while ago when I played it. But it was a uh, no. It's 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 fun. I, I just really hard. And maybe I'm just bad at the game because I'm pretty sure it's a kids game, and this should be easy. But I'm just really bad at this game. No, I think the one you're thinking of. Is, um... I think it's called, like, the Battle Chip Challenge or something like that. But, yeah, you couldn't control them in that, and that was a bit difficult. Yeah. But, yeah, there's a lot of elements from that. And also yo Watch, for obvious reasons. Oh, my gosh. I just, like, this is very... Like, the whole, like, the bad monster jumping around was very mm. yo Watch. And, like, it had it was, like, causing bad things, and then it had to be... It turned good and then joined him, especially with chips. And I was just like, oh, wow, they're, like... They're not so much looking to rival Pokemon anymore. They're looking to rival Yokai Watch. Um, and from when I went to Japan, Yokai Watch is everywhere. There was a pop-up shop near our hotel, and Jay wouldn't let me buy anything. Um, but I wanted a um, a Komatsu San. I think that's his name. Plushy. I really like him. He's so cute. He's just like a blue cat dog thing. Oh yeah. And like yeah, Yokai Watch is is huge in Japan. Yeah, it's it's like the second biggest thing from Pokemon yeah. for that sort of age range. So maybe Digimon's looking good, at though. having that demographic now, like that. Like they've they've made try, which is I think for grown-ups who grew up with it. Mm. Yeah, and now they're making something to for kids it's because everyone likes Yokai Watch now. So they're making something that can be as popular as Yokai Watch. I think they've tried for the collectible side of things, and obviously with the Atmon chips, there's that collectability of collecting these almost like cards, but they're not. Mm. So I think they're going with that demographic to try and make it more popular that way because they haven't really had anything like that with Digimon apart from the card series they didn't really have anything for Cross Wars or Frontier they had the the Digivices but apart from that they've never really had anything that's collect all these things and they've they've tried that now and I think it's going to work quite well well it's going to work with me and I can see it being a huge (laughs) money sink because I've already bought like a a chip box and like I've also bought the cards like I've bought a booster box for the cards and I'm just like oh no Mm. and I've also bought two Apple drives like the premium version and the normal version I'm just like oh no I need to stop is there a difference with those I don't know but I will find out I've got I've bought the the it's like the SP set so it comes with the Apple drive and the Apple watch thing yeah, I think that's then, the one that I that I that I bought. Maybe. And then Probably. I bought the covers. You can get the different covers: it's the um, the Musa one, the Dokemon, and the Hackmon ones. Oh, that that's really cool. I think I'm pretty sure I've pre-ordered that. I hope so. That sounds cool. I just kind of it's really cool. I got everything available on Hobby Link Japan. I, I, I'm an unstoppable force. I'm gonna. I'm, yeah. I'm basically effectively broke because of October because the PlayStation VR is also coming out. 
which um, I may or may not have to give to Jay because I get very motion sick. I haven't tried. I haven't, like, it hasn't come here yet, so I'm not sure how motion sick it'll make me, but I might have mm. to give it to Jay. Jay's hoping it makes me motion sick. So I wanted to pre-order more stuff, but I've, I've spent a fair bit this month, and, and like on the 23rd, me and Stevie are actually going to see Welcome to Night Vibes together, which will be pretty cool. Yeah, I just... But that means I've had to book... A, um, a hotel and stuff in Manchester, so I had to pay for those. So now I'm like, I'm kind of broke. Yeah, that <laughs> but feels... next month I kind of, I kind of want to get more things. Yeah, the episode of the Moncast let's just let's just listen to you just said that you were gonna see Welcome to Nightfall because I'm getting very slowly up to date. I think I'm up to the fashion one. Yes, I'm up to the fashion, po- the Pokemon fashion episode. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant Welcome to Nightfall episode, but oh, no, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fully up to date. Actually, further ahead than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but you we record them. I don't them. actually listen. I know, but I don't listen to them. I listen to them at work sometimes, and then I, I forget that. Even today, um, when the episode went up, I looked on SoundCloud when we were still talking after, and I was like, oh, the Moncast is a new episode up. And I just had a little brain fart, and I was like, yes, because you just put it up. It's it's the thing you do. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm still here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about the merch or anything. Yeah, we kind of like dove into merch territory, which was something like I can't really dive into with Jay, because he's just like, well, why are you spending money on that? It's it's stupid. Don't do that. It's because it's children. good and it makes noises. Yeah, like oh, and I'm just really hoping that this do- this does well and they continue to make Digimon stuff because Digimon I felt like mm. kind of died between Cross Wars and Try a little. Yeah, bit. definitely. And then Try happened, and then, like, all the new fans came back, and then they went, hmm, these people who grew up with Digimon now have jobs and lots of money. Let's exploit that. And they have, and they've done a good job with it. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, so much. It's good. I'm so hyped. And, like, oh, I really, I kind of want the Japanese 3DS, but that's way too expensive. Just to have Mm. the Atmon game, that's a very expensive purchase. I'm surprised. I know they're doing the... Isn't there like going to be like an Android game or something like that, like a phone game they're going to do? Um, I think it's like I think they're trying to cover everything, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're doing a phone game as well, because they are really trying to cover mm. every basis of what, how much money can we make with this? I think it's a free to play one, but I did um, I downloaded Digimon Links a little bit for a while, so I might just do that with the phone game and see how that goes, because I really really want to play the um the Atmon game it looks really good mm. the Atmon are cute they're smaller than I thought they'd be like, they're all Gatron's really cheapy is... I like them yeah they're they're great they look great it's gonna and... take some getting used to for me and the good thing is um with Atmon compared to like you know games like Next Order and uh, Digimon Links is that because those I think are aimed at like a slightly higher age demographic there's Kanji without Furigana and then mm. with um Atmon, even the 3DS game has Furigana, and that makes me happy because it means I can try to read it, because it's for children like me. Good, that's still good, though. I mean, if it means if it means it's accessible to you, mm. then brilliant. Yeah, and like, yeah, Lynx and Next Order both had lots of kanji, and I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, and I want to try to read this, but I can't, so I didn't, and it was sad. But I'm learning more kanji, but there's so many, and some have the same pronunciation as other kanji, and it just, it hurts so much, and I'm just, it's bad for me. But I, need, I, will, I will learn it, hopefully, one day. You can do it. Any other characters you guys like, like human characters? Um, I mean, we didn't really see too many of them. I mean, Haru's, Haru's interesting, because he's not, like you said, he's not, he's not the sporty person, he's quieter, a bit more reserved. Like... I think my favourite bit is when Gatchmon appears and he's like hiding under his duvet. Yeah. Oh yeah, he just like, I like jumps don't know, under it. Like, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm sure it's something along the lines of he's saying things like, I don't know what's going on, what's happening, and Gatchmon's like, yeah, I'm Gatchmon, nice to meet you. And he's like, I don't know what this is, why is this doing this thing? Yeah, I'm Gatchmon. And he just keeps going, yeah, I'm Gatchmon, it's Gatchmon. Gatron. I'm Gatron. I thought it's really cute. Yeah, and Gatron still has the personality of the main character Digimon, so it's mm. it's still interesting to have that contrast. Like usually we have Digimon who who you know connect quite well together. So we've had like you know Taichi and Agumon, and they're both you know they go getters and Vmon and Daisuke. They're just like yeah, go get it, yeah, it goes off. And then there's Gatron, and he's like yeah, let's go. And Haru's just like I'd like to stay in bed and read a book. Thanks, I love him. <laughs> he's precious. I think it, it's going to be nice to see this side of him be brought out through Gatchmon. Mm. Oh, I love him so much. And he's just like, the fact that he's like a book nerd and we haven't really seen 
that since really sort of Takata was a bit of a nerd in a way. He was like, he liked to draw and he, didn't, he wasn't like particularly sporty. And, and every other like protagonist since has been like, you know, fiery and hot headed and sporty. And we haven't really seen like a nerdy protagonist. Mm-hmm. But even Takata was more of a comic book video game nerd and mm. Haru was more of a book nerd. So it's going to be interesting to see maybe they fight opponents and he's like, oh, this is a bit like a thing from a book I read. Oh, that'd be a so bit cool. like um, Klaus in a series of unfortunate events where he recalls things from his memory that he's read in books and he can use that, I remember that. in the situation. So it'd be good to see him do that. Mm. It'd be quite cool to see that happen. Mm. No, d- no, definitely. Because I, I like that he's a nerd. He's so cute. He's precious. Mm. He's shaped like a friend. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm not sure if you agree with me on this, but he looks quite feminine in design. Yeah, a little bit. And he's considering he's a bit older than the other protagonist. Besides Masaru, obviously, he's quite he's a bit older than the other protagonist. He's thirteen, so just like he's yeah, he's pretty feminine looking. I'm just like, oh, he's adorable. And we have he hasn't got spiky hair. His hair's all curved, which is different. Yeah, normally they have spiky mop. I think Masaru <laughs> had like had like curved hair, didn't he? Like it was kind of flat. He had a a short ponytail. Oh yeah. I that, remember that when means- the um the concept art came out for him, mm-hmm. people thought that he was a girl. And I was like, that would be cool. I want to see a, a girl protagonist. And then when Maki came out, everyone thought that she was either Ken or um, Masaru. Mm-hmm. Maki's the best. She's precious. Yeah, well, best or worst, we'll find out. She just keeps on smiling. Why? Stop smiling, please. <laughs> what about, I know we haven't seen many, but what, what do you guys think of the Atmon that we've seen so far in, this, in the show? I know that like tons have been released through like the 3DS game and other means, but like from the ones we've seen so far on the show, what, what, do, you, what do you think? Stevie, you can you can talk. <laughs> well, I've only actually seen the what the two that were in this episode, which are Gatchmon and the I don't know the Emoticon chat one. And there's also um, Edgemon, the st- stalker. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that one that looks really weird. It looks like it's trying to be all evil and menacing, but it's just too short. <laughs> He's like it's me. not intimidating. <laughs> I really hope that even like I hope that the big bad as well is also small. That'd be kind of cool. Like, if they're small but not threatening, but also they are very powerful, mm. so, they, so they, they can do these things, and they're, they are a threat, but they're just so tiny. Like, I'd be interested <laughs> to see how they evolve. Like, I wonder mm. how they're going to do that, because I, I mean, I know we've seen, like, what Gatchmon evolves into, but we haven't really seen, like, how they evolve and what, what circumstance. Is it just, like, you get an upgrade and you can do it straight away, or do you have to, like, have emotions? It'll be emotions. Mm. I'm excited to see it. I mean, they... they they are a lot like Digimon, but they've got so many things that make them more unique. And they've all got that similar theme of... Because I've seen the from that, the demo that got released, there was all the... I think there's like 140 models of all the of the Atmon in the demo. And overall, they're really interesting. They remind me a lot more of, of the original Digimon designs. Yeah, and I feel like they're going back to the beginning. It felt like... I'm not sure if like, this is the same with you guys, but when I watched it, I felt like I was like, you know... A, like an eight-year-old or, t- or like a very small child watching Digimon for the first time and learning all about these characters in this world. And it felt, it was very nostalgic in a way. And I just like, I was sent back to being a little kid and I really enjoyed it and I was smiling the whole time. And I'm not sure if it's the same with mm. you guys. Well, even it, though I couldn't understand it, I still laughed out loud at some points. Yeah. Because of just emotions that were going on and everything. It was, it was really nice. It was really fun. Yeah, especially with like him jumping out of the bed. That was hilarious. It was so cute. Mm. And it shows that he's different. He's he's not like, you know, he's not like a brave, strong leader from the start like Taichi was. He was like climbing trees and Daisuke was just like, you know, ready to punch him on a chromon, basically. He's not a protagonist. But he decided That's the, the he thing was. about him. Yeah. Like, and he's fact- not the typical protagonist. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that he hesitated at the start, like, how many young boys would say, yeah, yeah, I'm the main character? But he hovered over no when the vending machine asked him. Because he was like, are you a protagonist? And he went to yes, but then he, like, was almost clicked no. Because he, he's not, like, he's different from the other protagonists. He's like, oh, but I'm, I'm not. See, what I took from that was that he's unsure, but he has the potential to be one. Mm. Because if it was just a yes, that shows he's quite hot-headed. He's like, yeah, I can do anything I want. If he says no, he feels so unsure of himself that he can't do it. But because he's like, oh, I don't know. Could I be? Could I do this? And I feel like with Gatchmon, they're going to pull that protagonist potential out of himself. Mm. 
And the fact that good. maybe that's why he got the Apple drive from the vending machine, even if even though he hesitated because a good protagonist doesn't say, I'm a protagonist, or no, I'm not a protagonist. Mm. A good protagonist has to think about it because he's thoughtful. And, it's, you know, it's, it's I, re- I really like Haru. I'm just so excited to see what they do with him. Mm. He's probably going to end up leading a group, so he has to be able to make these tough decisions. Yeah. One part I did like was um, at the vending machine scene where there, where the other Digimon, I don't want to say its name because spoilers, but the one who's spying on everybody was using real world things like it, it used the stop signs to stop everybody where they are, used a certain one to make Haru face a certain direction, used the car alarm mm. uh, horn to make Haru face the vending machine. I thought that was so interesting how they're affecting the real world to control people to do these certain things. And I hope that's something they use more in future episodes oh definitely like i because think that's it's, such an like i think it might be like a, a main mechanic in atmon because of the you know that's what they do and i'm i was always wondering like when i've been atmon first was announced i was like oh that, that i wonder how they're going to do that that sounds like actually kind of dumb but the way they're doing this like that's really well done it's yeah it's, it's like yokai watch it's good though mm. it seems it's like, like- yokai watch but in yokai watch they affect people and in this it affects the machines and i really like that thing yeah they feel more yeah. like Digimon as opposed to like the Royal Knights who don't feel like Digimon. They feel like mechs. Mm. Sorry, Steve, I'm, wait- I'm waiting on you because <laughs> we're talking. <about> you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say it feels like the app world and the real world are much more intrinsically linked than yeah. the digital world and the real world ever were. Mm. And I'm it's going to be, excited. yeah, it's going to be a lot more jumping back and forth between them. It's more intertwining. Also, there's the, the, um, the, digital ocean the net ocean which was interesting because there's a there's a place in the digimon law which is the net ocean and that's yeah. literally just the ocean itself mm. but in this it seems almost like there's a plane of existence where technology is connected to it because when you saw gatchmon's um swimming along you could see all of these people's s- screens and then he searched i think it was he searching for someone who had that one specific app What's this? The at the start when um, Gatchmon's swimming away from the giant tentacles. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's I think he was like yeah, underneath the phone and he was looking for someone with that app. Yeah, yeah. I think that was how they realise. But I thought that was pretty cool, like the idea of there's just this ocean and there's just this wave, well this this layer of everyone's phone screens and all this information that's on there. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, no, that was that was that was definitely pretty cool, and the fact that they they're using technology that we know of and that we can see. Mm-hmm. It's always like, I mean, like I know in Adventure they always talk about floppy disk drives and floppies, and I was just like, okay, this is dated, and I guess I wonder how dated this will appear in fifteen years. Like, oh, the, the, look, look, they're using iPhones and Apple watches. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the Apple. But saying that, though, saying that though, apps have been around for a while now, mm. not too long, but but still, you know, a couple of years ever since. Um, iPhones existed. Apps have been a thing. I feel like they are going to be a more permanent thing than, say, floppy disks. Hopefully, but they said that about floppy disks too, and uh, cart- like mm. those Game Boy cartridges. Like, oh wow, those have so much data. Mm. Uh, what else do I have in my notes? Yeah, just basically, like, I'm really impressed by how they're using Atmon and how clever it was that that they use dif- their attacks to, depending on what app they are. Like, the message app was attacking with speech bubbles. I thought yeah, that, that was, was really cool. cool. That yeah, was cool. that was cool. And the fact, like, he used the, the, the find app th- to charge the attack and Haru was typing and I just, like, it involves the the human more and I really like when Digimon involves the human as well as the partner Digimon to, you know, fight. Mm, cool. I didn't quite understand what was happening there. What I took from it was uh, that... Haru was writing commands to Gatchamon, and then Gatchamon receives the commands and then does the thing. Oh, I just thought he was like doing a uh, a search because he's the Finder app, but that was just my impression. That makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Like how if he was using Messamon, I think he would be typing messages, and that's mm. how we'd attack with him. Instead, and like with Gatchamon because he's the search app, he was just like typing them and like, yeah, I'm typing. Even that attack's interesting, and it looks really cool as well when he puts his hand into the thing, and then it's following like communication lines or something that was pretty cool yeah that was that was pretty cool i'm just like everything was an interesting attack and i know Mm. in the advanced screening the the little children in the audience really liked it like yeah i can totally see children getting super hype over this because i'm getting hype over this and i'm 23 Mm. what did you think of the animation style i really liked it like it was it was seemed pristine it was cute and i I mean like i'm not a super like 
I'm not like one that like nitpick animation because like I don't know anything about animation. It's not my forte, but mm. I just uh I I really enjoyed it and I've seen um like scans of the manga and and ho- and when my when my V jump arrives I can't wait to try and read it because like I really like the art style in the manga. What about you guys? It looks it looks really it looks crisp and clean. It doesn't look when you look at Fry and you look at some shots from there, you can tell that it's um uh, um what's the word? Andrew used it in Slack. Flat, that's it, flat. Yeah. Um, where everything's like one shade. It doesn't have that, which is quite nice. Mm. And the CGI that's used, because like the Apple drive itself is, is CGI, and it, it fits in with the motion and the animation really well. Mm. And it's not overdone. It's not too much. Like, for example, mm. I think the, lo- the latest Ghostbusters, I like the latest Ghostbusters, but I just found like some of the CGI was just too much. It just, they just put too much CGI in. And I think... Atmon mm. did like their animation and CGI rather well. Yeah, it was, there was a nice balance of, of um, things being animated and things being CG. Mm. I, I mean, even music as well. CG. Pardon? Yeah, the, um, the Apple Drive itself is CG. Yeah, I, I didn't work that out. I didn't notice that it was CG at all. It's good. It's good. But yeah, the um, the music as well was really good. I like the music. Yeah, like I want to dive into the future. What I love a hype that song. I'm so ready. I was so ready to like jump up and like be hype. It's just like you, with your shonen anime, you need your opening to make you feel hype, and that mm. that gives hype. And then the ending song is relaxing and more casual, so it's like it then calms you down from that hype. And I feel like that's the great bookends of opening and ending. And I think mm. other series of Digimon have done that when they've had the yeah you know butterfly and then you know the relaxing I wish to calm you down. And I just yeah that's what I want in my shonen anime. So hype. <laughs> I think a good example of that is season five yeah, with yeah. the savers because the ending song from that is just uh, a woman singing with a guitar. I thought that was really cute. Oh yeah, yeah, that really, re- yeah, that's super relaxing. No, I really, I really like that one. Mm. I really like. Savers. It reminds me of that. I like. Yeah, savers is good. Um, I also like the the ending screens. Like they they're almost like postcards of just Haru and Gatchwan exploring what I assume is the digital world. Mm. Or just a world. I thought they were quite cute. And I really liked the the last one we see, which is basically like a selfie between Haru and Gachmon, and just his mm-hmm. lock screen. I'm like, oh, our babies. <laughs> That's great. I love them. I love I love all the characters, and I just I, I want to protect Haru. He's precious and small, and Gachmon. <laughs> I think and small. if you think about all of the episode ones from the other seasons and how you'd feel after watching that first episode without knowing anything else. Mm. I think this has done quite well to to drag people in, mm. and yeah, the especially f- with that language barrier. Yeah, the first episode of Adventure, I wouldn't say is a particularly strong start, but this was a very no. strong start, and I hope that they continue on this this path because you know the first episode is what the first like people might tune out because if they don't like the first episode, they'll stop watching, and mm. you know, um, the first episode of Lost in Translation mod isn't that great. I had to listen to it again because I was making the video and it's like, oh god, this is terrible. <laughs> Make it's me still stop. good. It's still entertaining. You guys had the best first episode, though. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, you guys professional. It was good. <laughs> well, like, um, there's a Tumblr post about it in Steven Universe when Amethyst and Steven are fighting. They're like, I'm the worst. No, I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I need to watch more Steven Universe. It's so good. I've cried so many times. I've started crying at, at, at cartoons more. Try Chapter 3 made me cry like three times. Oh my god, me too. It's not just every time um, Patanov was on screen. Oh my god, that scene. But like, we, we shouldn't talk about too much about Try. It, there's a scene yeah. with just TK and Patamon, and that messed me up. I had to pause and go and make a cup of tea. And I had to sit down and then <laughs> I had to have a hug. And I was like, I don't know what's happening to this show. Yeah, well, I, I I think I mentioned this in the the try spe- special. It's not like a super spoiler, but I said that during that particular scene, I looked at Jay and said, "What anime are we watching?" Because it was just so different from anything we've seen in Digimon. But yeah, so mm. um, if you haven't watched Try Special uh, Chapter Three yet, you should watch it because I don't want it to be spoiled. Because I feel like there are spoilers everywhere for it now, and I'm glad that I watched as soon as possible. Mm. There were some really important parts, which they are all over Tumblr and things. And if you've been lucky to not know about it yet, you're kind of lucky, but you should probably watch it sooner than later because things will be spoiled and if it's spoiled for you it will take away from the impact of actually watching it because chapter three is a, is a roller coaster mm, and i feel like yeah spoilers would ruin some of the, the impact of what was happening and mm. i'm hungry now so i think we might finish off if that's okay with you both um but basically yeah, 
what were your ending thoughts of watching Atmon so far? And like, are you hyped to see more? Are you kind of like meh to see more? What do you think? I'm concerned because I really enjoyed the first episode. I can't speak Japanese. I can't really understand Japanese. I know a little bit, but there's that language barrier. And if if it doesn't become subtitled, then I'm gonna I'm gonna get seriously bad FOMO. Mm. Like I need to watch this. I want to watch it on a weekly basis because it starts at like 11 o'clock at night on a Friday in the UK. And I really need to watch this on a Friday night. It wants, it needs to be a thing. It's Saturday and, morning for me. So that's like the perfect time to oh, watch a cartoon. That's so good. It's like <laughs> after my morning walk, after my breakfast, I was just like, I got the, I, at the end, I was walking home from my walk and I saw people saying, dude, Atmon's out. So I was like, okay. And I watched it. And then like, apparently it was taken mm. down during the time, like w- while I was recording my like immediate episode about it. So, and I believe, is it up again now? Yeah. Cause yeah, I watched it, it again. Yeah. yeah. And I just—I think it's good. Like as a first step towards the next mm. thing Digimon is doing, I think they've taken it in a good direction. They've taken elements from older seasons that were interesting and worth developing, and I think they're going to try and develop them. And I hope they do in a good way. Yeah, I hope they continue to run with this greatness that hopefully they have. And I have a lot <laughs> of—I have a lot of high like hopes about it, and I probably shouldn't just in case. And I'm worried that episode two might not be so easy to access maybe it was just the first episode they're releasing online to get people to watch it but mm. um because i want as and i've said this before on the podcast i want to try to not like do everything as legally as possible and if i yeah. have access to something get it from the legal source like pay money for it unfortunately in australia like they've only released the first two seasons on dvd and there's no like legal way to get the subs from australia which is unfortunate yeah but I, that's why I, my end goal for Japanese, and when I'm like fluent enough to understand most things, I want to buy the the like that that huge Blu-ray collection. Yeah. And just like, and that that's my reward for myself when I understand more Japanese. And because I don't want to have to do bad things to get you know Digimon in Japanese, I want to have it as legally as possible. I just can't understand mm. it without subs at the moment. The same here though. Like with Try, we haven't had a Try in England at all so anybody who's watched it in the uk has had to do slightly illegal things and it feels bad because there's definitely a fan base here mm. but you still and paid I'll... for crunchyroll didn't you yeah i still paid for yeah. crunchyroll but i had to use a an ip VPN, thing yeah. to i've used a free illegal. guest pass every time so <laughs> yeah but you haven't been able to like watch it on regular crunchyroll have you no not on uk crunchyroll mm. I'm surprised that Australia Crunchyroll actually had it because we never get anything that's, like, really good. I mean, we get good stuff, but, like, we don't get, like... I'm used to expecting no Digimon for Australia, considering we never really got Tamers in full. Oh, mm. I didn't know that. Yeah, we, we got, like, the first, like, 30 episodes, and then it repeated again, I think. Oh. So I've never watched uh, Tamers completely in English. I've only ever watched, like, the first, like, 30 episodes. Ooh. I'm really, I, yeah, I think it was like, th- oh, oh, I think 33 or 36, like around that episode, maybe. I don't know. But I've, I've watched it all. You have, yeah. So you've, you, have you now watched them all or have you not watched all of Tamers? Well, I, I've, I've seen all of Tamers in Japanese, but I haven't ever seen it in English. So oh, I'm, okay. Yeah. So in a few episodes, I believe I'll be watching new stuff in English. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, so it's exciting. Excitement. It's like yeah. with Atmon, this is like the first time in a long time I've had to, I can watch a Digimon season as it comes out mm. because I didn't really watch Cross Wars and I watched Frontier up to about the halfway point and then I watched it a couple of years later online. Yeah, I think that was the same for me as well. Like Frontier was like, I feel like they just stopped airing it because it wasn't as popular as they wanted it to be in, in Australia. Mm. Like, so that just stopped. And then I don't believe we actually got savers or maybe I was, I, it, I think I was like mixed between too cool to want to watch Digimon because I went from, through my cool phase where Digimon was just for babies. <laughs> And yeah, and um, but I'm pretty sure Savers wasn't on, but I might be wrong because I was too cool to look for Digimon at that stage. <laughs> so what would you what would you rate it? Like the Atmon episode one. Out of what? Um, out of ten. Sorry. Out of ten. Uh, it gets a six, maybe a seven. I think it would get more if I understood what was going on. Mm. But from yeah. visually, from the visuals, the soundtrack, the the general emotion of each scene, it gets a good. Yeah, I gotta say seven. It was it was good. I, I would agree. I would also give it a seven because I don't want to get too overhyped for it, just in case it does, mm. you know, not turn out to be as good as I think it's going to be. I don't as want to give it a rating. You don't want to give it a rating? No, because I don't feel like it'd be fair to give it a rating when I have literally like no idea what actually happened in it. Uh, if you could 
rate your experience then, like from what you took away yeah, from I, it? My first impressions are it seems like classic Digimon with a fresh coat of paint. Yeah. And it, it definitely has potential. And if it's out subtitles, I'll definitely watch it as it's coming out. So it was a good first impression. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I would agree. Like it, it, yeah, it made me very happy to watch. So I would totally agree with you. Mm. I still found it exciting to watch, even though they could have all essentially just been going blah blah blah. Yeah, they could have been like it could have been, you know, they could have been saying gobbledygook, and I was like, yeah, that sounds good. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, seven out of ten. It was quite good. I enjoyed yeah, I, it. I would also agree. Yeah, seven out of ten. I was gonna say like an eight, but I'm like, no, that's 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 like too high. I don't want to get like my hopes up. And also, if I said, mm. like, the first episode of eight, what if the second episode's not as good? Or what if the third episode's not as good? Or what if the third episode's better? What if it, what if it, you know, pushes my seven back to a lower mark? But, yeah, I think seven. Seven, seven's good at the moment. And I'm, I'm, I, I sort of explained, like, the, the basic plot of the episode to Jay. And, like, he's, he smiled. Mm. So, like, I don't know. He said that sounds, like, cute. But he said it sounds dumb, which is what Jay always says. <laughs> I think this first episode of Atman is probably most like the first episode of Tamus. Mm, mm. Out of all the other previous first episodes, that's the one I think has the most similarities with. Mm. It's also the main character being, you know, a bit of a nerd, but I love him. Mm, yeah, they get the Digivice or the Apple Drive. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And yeah, this this that you know, listen to the Moncast. It's really good Pokemon and Digimon, and you know they're comparing it. And thank you so much for joining me on the show and talking about Atmon and being hype. And yeah, thank you. It's been it's been great. It's nice to talk about about this sort of stuff because it's fun. Yeah, it's it, it is super fun. And yeah, I enjoyed it's... sitting here and listening to you two talk. Yeah, sorry, Steve, Stevie <laughs> yeah. is sick at the moment, so they probably want to go to bed soon. Yes, I do. And I want to have breakfast. I also. I also think me and you may are kind of extremely hype about anything Digimon anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm very hype, and yeah, being hype is good though, isn't it? It's good, it's really good. It's all be hype, man. It comes to something when you've ended up downloading the, the opening music and the ending music onto your phone, and you play it when you're doing housework. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, I just want to dive into the future. <laughs> so hype, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's very hard. Like I don't speak Japanese, but I can I can say a couple of lines from the from the opening already. Wow, <laughs> I haven't put I haven't like put on my phone yet, but like because I've been listening to podcasts because I'm very behind in podcasts. It's a good get up in the morning and get on with your day song. Yeah, as I said, it's like it's a hype song. It's like yeah, you want to get hype? Yeah, let's get hype. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for joining us and listeners who are listening to us in their ear holes. Thank you for listening. Uh, the the I have been collecting references that we have been speaking about, so there will be a link dump in this one. So, yeah, thank you for listening, oh. and thank you for joining us, Sam and Stevie. Oh, thank You're you. welcome. Thanks for having us. I'm going to go have breakfast yeah, and edit. Good. And yes, Good. So check these cool cool people out on the Moncast, and yeah, see ya. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.